Hey guys, what's up? Are you one or zero here? So in this video, we will be solving four easy Linux hack the box machines, which are all OECP similar. Uh, they're all Linux boxes and they're super easy. I remember that they've been released super early and um, these are probably the first OECP similar hack the box machines that's been released. So this is gonna be a super short video. Uh, you can just watch it while you're eating your lunch or whatever. And I'm sure that you will learn more techniques um, in your OCP preparation. I'm gonna keep chit chat part short. And if you're ready, let's jump in. <laughs> Welcome to off sex certification, penetration, test, better than the rest. So the first box will be Shocker. It's a Linux box, easy one. So as always, we're gonna start with an nmap scan, minus sc, minus sv, and bv, uh, the options that we're always using. I'm seeing that there's a port 80 open. I'm going to Dear Buster immediately for director brute forcing. I'm just writing the URL and choosing my default um, word list from user share word list, Dear Buster, and just medium list. Cool, you can just specify file, file extensions. I'm generally checking results tree view. Easy to see, I'm seeing that there's CGI being up in the results. So after that, I did director brute forcing for CGI bin and I realized that there is user.sh file. Um, if you check online for what does this mean, this means we are here vulnerable to shell, shell shock vulnerability. Okay, as you can see, I'm just going to user.sh uh, file. And I am checking online for shell shock vulnerability. It's really easy to exploit yourself with a one-liner. You don't need to download some um, exploit. I'm just copying and pasting it to my sublime and changing the URL here to 10.10.10.56 for port 80. Don't forget to write the port here. Um, as you can see here, I just forgot in the first time and it's not gonna give me the results. When I add the port 80, it gives me the results of etc passvd file with the comment cat. Cool, so of course I wanna use the following comment for the one-liner. I'm just checking for bash scripts for one-liner and when I and when I replace my code from cat etc passvd to bash one-liner, I just got a shell as um, Shelly. Cool, that was very quick. And the first two minutes we got the shell. Uh, like I mentioned, this is really easy. So I'm checking with sudo minus L if there isn't any file or any program that we can use as root. And as you can see, we can use Perl as root. Cool, so I can just use a Perl one-liner for reverse shell to get a shell as root. I'm checking online for Pentest Monkey Perl One Liner Reverse Shell, and you can just um, you can get the comment and replace your IP address and the port that you're gonna listen on um, from the li One Liner. Super easy, as you can see, uh, but you should be familiar with using these stuff. So I just replace this, copy that, and I'm gonna start listening on port four 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 four. Me shell is root. The next box is gonna be bashed. Uh, this is another cool box, but it's super easy. You will see now there's like low hanging fruit everywhere and we will be solving it super quick. Another two minutes uh, box, I guess, two or three. So as always, we start with an MMAP scan. I saw that port 80 is open. What are we doing? We are just starting our director brute forcing. I'm using the buster here. You can just use go buster or whatever tool you're using. I went to browser. When I go to the main page, I see this PHP bash and director brute forcing results will give us the following directory dev. When I go to the file that I saw there, PHP bash, as you can see, it's basically giving us a terminal that you can execute comments with. I'm gonna use this comment line to get a reverse shell. You can just ch check uh, Pentest Monkey's reverse sh shell cheat sheet. I'm gonna get a Python uh, one-liner here. I'm gonna write it as always to my uh, sublime so that I can change the IP address and port number that I'm gonna listen on. I am just starting listening on port 1234 and I'm sending this comment to the browser shell, let's say. When I do that, I get a shell as dup, 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 move on with. So first thing I'm doing is I'm upgrading my 
um, SH shell to PES shell. Then, as always, I'm checking with pseudo minus cell. So we are seeing that uh, we are seeing that script manager. Um, we can basically run any comment. No pass VD required. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to impersonate my user uh, with sudo minus u option, and we'll write the username and I will go to bin bash shell. Perfect. I just upgraded to script manager user. Cool. So the next step should be go into the root user. I'm just checking around for any directories, any files that um, that can be useful. I'm just going to go back in directories to see if there's any directory that I can see as different than default. And I'm seeing that there is scripts directory. So test.txt is owned by root and test.py file is owned by script manager, which is my current user. I can basically just replace this file with whatever content that I want. So I'm just checking out for out of curiosity what this file is, that's test.py. Um, as you can see, it's writing to a file called test.txt and it's writing the following content, testing slash you know, space one, two, three, uh, exclamation mark. Cool, and closing the file. Uh, nothing fancy, and I'm just checking the content for uh, test.txt. I'm assuming that there is a cron job working on the background to, um, to run this Python script. So what I'm gonna do is I just wrote a very simple um, Python one liner. Um, as you can see, it's here. This is my own box, by the way, not the vulnerable box. I just wrote a um, file, I created a file called test.py and edit the um, pandas monkeys Python one liner. So I will just fire my Python simple HTTP server so that I can send this file to the vulnerable box. Uh, I will remove test.py so that I can replace it with my own um, test.py file. So I just got the file with vget. I started listening on the port that I included in this test.py file. Um, and it's here. When the cron job runs in approximately less than one minute, we will got a root shell which is here. Perfect, very quick. Next box is beep. It's another, it's another easy box, it's Linux, and we will start with an nmap scan with the same options. As you can see, there are a bunch of ports open, that's cool. Uh, I'm starting with my dear buster for director brute forcing. I'm writing the URL um, and you can specify the word list and file extensions. Depends on what you wanna do, what you wanna see. Cool. I'm going to the same word list, user fair word list, the buster, medium. Cool, cool, cool. I'm checking tree view. Um, and let's go to the URL in our browser. 10, 10, 7. As you can see, there's an Elastics page here. Um, I am just trying a couple of default passwords that you can think of, admin, 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 password, etc. cetera. Um, checking for version information, checking the source, if there is anything that, I, that can help me uh, for further exploitation. Uh, after checking their buster, I'm realizing there is a file called admin, which is basically um, prompting a login page. When I say cancel, it sends me to the following page, config.php. It says unauthorized. Of course, we didn't enter any password. Uh, so I'm thinking there's probably an exploit that I can use. I'm checking search exploit for it. You're just writing the keyword here, which is Elastics. Uh, as you can see, there is remote code execution, LFI. The first thing that I'm going to do here is going to be the LFI vulnerability. You can just uh, check the file by saying locate um, for this Perl file. It's very easy to use it. You're just saying locate if you want to get the full directory. Um, and you're saying cat to read the file. As you can see, LFI exploit is one liner, like super easy. You're just copying this and going to this file on um, this directory. Yeah, I, I told you guys, it's super easy. Um, so I'm just copying and pasting from the source exploit. Um, this is a bit uh, gibberish, so I'm just checking the source code. As you can see, we found here a bunch of passwords. Um, later, we will be trying all these um, in another login page. So I also realized that there's this port 10,000 is open. I'm going that, and I'm seeing that there is Webman um, login page. 
the first thing I'm trying is the login username, which is root. And for password, I'm just trying randomly for the passwords that I found on the uh, previous page. And it just allows me to log into Vetman. Uh, what I'm trying is since SSH port was also open, I'm just trying the same password with the user root, which I want to um, reach out at the end of the video. Uh, so I'm just trying to SSH to the box with the same username and password. All right, for trying it, uh, it's gonna give us an error message. Just gonna check online for this. What those error message means, super easy. Um, and of course we found the solution here. We will just add another um, option to this comment. We'll just be adding this and we're using the same password that we used and the HTTP login page. And when we try it, we will just get a root user. Cool. Let's go to the fourth box, which is sense. We're seeing that AD and 443 ports are open. When I go to 443 port, I am seeing PF sense page, login page here. Cool. What can I do? I can try default passwords. I can do director brute forcing to see if there is any other files and um, directories that I can use. As you can see, we are seeing a bunch of files here. Uh, first, I specified the file extension as PHP. Uh, when I also add, added other file extensions such as txt, etc., I will find the following file, changing the file into system users.txt, which has given us the username Rohes and password for company default. If you check for a pfsense default password, it will be pfsense. Uh, shocking news. So we will be using the username Rohit and the password um, pfsense. I think I did a typo here. When you try it again, uh, this time it will work. Cool. As you can see, it is working. And the next thing I'm doing is I want to check if there's an exploit that I can use for pfsense. I'm using search exploit. You can also check exploit DB, same thing. Uh, there will be a command injection um, that we can use. It's a fighting code. I will just be getting this that we get and um, we'll be using it on my own box. As you can see, there are a couple of options that we will use, uh, such as our host for remote host minus L host for local host listener will be our own IP address, L port for the local port that we will be listening on, username, bro hit, and password will be PFs. When I wait for a few seconds, I am getting, wow, a root shell. <laughs> cool. Okay. okay, guys, as I mentioned, these are four very easy Linux boxes. Um, I don't know if you learned a lot of techniques from that. I just wanted to create this video like 12 minutes or something um, because I wanted to include this scenarios in case you're seeing some lists online uh, for OCP similar hacked box machines. I'm using um, others blog posts that they created uh, after they got their OCP and I saw many, many boxes there. Um, so I'm trying to include the interesting ones. These were probably the most easy one. So I just thought that let's put them all in one video. You can just watch it while you're eating your lunch or drinking your coffee. It will be super quick, but hopefully this will give you some more techniques that you can use in your OCP journey. Just as a quick note, I am starting my new job at HackerOne next week. So I may not have a lot of time to create another long video, let's say. Um, it can be something like this, like a 10 minutes video. And another good news is that I am planning to create one-on-one um, -on -one courses in my YouTube channel, such as Bash Scripting, Fight on Scripting, uh, because after I finish my OECP boxes, I am planning to create videos for OECE preparation, which is my favorite. Uh, how to write exploits, how to do reverse engineering, how to use immunity debugger, and many, many more. Um, because in the background, I'm preparing for OECE, um, but creating these videos are not really in the same direction as OSEE. I just had this in my mind as a project to share my knowledge. Hopefully you're appreciating these videos. After I finish OSCP, like I said, I will start creating videos for OSCE. Um, and who knows, maybe for OSEE. Stay tuned for more content. Cheers. This one dedicated to all those who complete the mass sex certification, the ones who are false and are weaver.
No man to try hard and get free of You must not feel, you must not nigga the bus. Try harder, you must. Of sex, say, try harder. 